Hey, so we are going to do a landing page again. Uh, this time this is for sales pop-up. So this is a small pop-up that displays the recent sales and it increases uh, social proof. So you can see an example here should appear soon. So this is basically the exact same thing. I just uh, adapted it so you can, you know, uh, configure, like customize it a little bit more. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So. It's a very straightforward product. It's not very technical, so I think it doesn't need like lots of explanations, just show and examples. Um, so yeah, I think for the landing page, I, like it won't need like a huge copy, just explaining the benefits, why they should have that, maybe a little bit of how it works, but overall uh, it's a very simple product, like everyone immediately understand what it does and how it does it so um yeah so again i'm going to record myself and try to cut the times where you know i'm just like trying to think a little bit but um i would still suggest watching uh, speed 2 and yeah let's get started so i have a new google docs uh, again don't start with the design don't start with pre-made templates and stuff like that otherwise you will try to fit your copy to the design and not the design to the copy and that's a easiest way to speed run a really bad copy so always start with the google docs um so again i, I like to start with so goal of uh, my landing page is to get um sign up no i'm not sure if i do like free trial or sales directly but it's you can easily switch between each of them uh so it's not a big deal so i'm just going to write um, make people purchase so this is like a yearly subscription a very cheap one uh, what are you Okay, so I have my Google Docs set up and let's see. So I want to start uh, by brainstorming a little bit. So I'm just going to write down every idea that comes to my mind, everything I think that might be useful for the landing page. Doesn't matter if there is an order or something, I'm just going to write down everything. So let's see, um, obviously. Examples. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, um, always give numbers. If you just say, oh yeah, it increased conversion rate then by what like what does it mean it could be like zero point one percent and that would still be an increase uh, but if you say it increased an average conversion rate by 15 to 20 percent then that's already way better um so yeah i uh, will definitely uh Yeah, I think I'm, I'm just going to pause because it's going to be boring if I just brainstorm live. There are lots of, you know, me thinking, so I'm just going to pause until I'm done. So one thing I really like to do when I, you know, brainstorm new ideas is just to go on um, competitor website. <laughs> like, really, that's just a, a great way to get ideas. Obviously, do not copy, you know, what they do, but it gives you an idea of, like, what is working. Uh, but obviously, it only works if your comp if you know your competitors are, competitors are doing good. But uh, it gives you an idea of okay, that's the kind of thing that works. And I will also go into like not not necessarily competitors, but website aim at the same kind of audience. So I have Maker Ads Guide, uh, well, which is mine, so I already know <laughs> all the stuff here. Um, there is you know Shipfast. Um, and yeah, like I, I will just try to have a look and see what you know kind of works. So, because those two ones are competitor, but they are definitely they are not for the same audience at all, because uh, they are made for like e-commerce. 
and uh, way more expensive they have lots of features that are not necessary for uh, like indies uh, so let's see I think um, yeah I'm just going to pause again and resume when I find something interesting so I actually like this section where it's like why use trust pearls but it's more like you know uh, features so like features and benefits sort of but in a simplified way um, so 92% of people will trust a recommendation from a peer so that's a good number uh, see instant result it takes less than five minutes to install use it out of the box or customize every detail um, so I think I will I will reuse my uh, how it works section from an app I made not long ago because I think it's it looks better but I will use like I think maybe either static images or something like that um, worked on all popular platforms so there is definitely some you know sh social proof like oh it works on those platforms so it needs some kind of integration uh, in my case it only worked for Stripe I might add uh, lemon squeezy and stuff like that at some point if not uh, before lunch so I will definitely make a section with that mm. let's see yeah, this one doesn't really matter and if I okay so again that's like that's a simple product so it, like competitors landing page are pretty simple you know uh, I really like this one actually I didn't use the, <laughs> the blue tone because of them but I think it looks way better so I think I will just it doesn't matter like I'm, it's not like I'm, I'm copying them or something um, but I think I will use Tailwind uh, Indigo color because it just looks way better than the green one I use right now um, yeah I mean that's a pretty standard layout like I think I will like, do something similar yeah this is how it works so we'll have something a bit like that mm -hmm. some testimonials okay uh, let's see what we can take from that so this is like features but since it's a simple project I will not need that um, I like the idea of showing a video like this is you know how it works and stuff like that actually this is really good like maker of the year social proof like that that's uh, really great like social proof um, and there's a pricing box actually yeah I think what will matter here is really the testimonials so I think a strategy I could do for this one is to contact people before I launch offer them like a super cheap pricing and this will allow me two things first uh, getting my own notifications because the best way to sell that kind of product is just to show how it works and the best way would be to show it on the landing page directly but since it's a new product I don't have any sales to show so I think I will try to do that to reach out people and offer them like a really good price before the launch um, but yeah I think I will just go with like so yeah how it works I already have that planned give some numbers uh, I'm not sure like a without is necessary because that's more like a it's not like a big painkiller product it's just it's straightforward you directly understand okay this improved conversion rate more conversion rate pin more sales so uh, it's straightforward isn't it something like that um, same there is no real objection with that like maybe like will it work for me uh, you know stuff like that but I think um, yeah so let's see let's go back to that I will pause try to write things a little bit and go back to the video yeah so I wrote some headlines but I just uh, realized so there might be one objection like oh is it going to slow down my website because it's an external script 
so it doesn't because the script is loaded like uh, async and differ stuff like that so uh, i'm just going to write an objection section and And yeah, basically, so just keep in mind all the objections you can think of. Uh, honestly, it doesn't really matter if you have too much objections uh, because people who don't have the objection will just keep them. They will just keep reading, but better safe than sorry. Uh, but then over time, if you realize, okay, so this one, I never heard of, you know, anyone complaining about that or whatever. You can just remove it if it's not that useful. And you can also split test to remove some chunks of your copies to see if it changes the conversion rate. If it doesn't change the conversion rate, then it's better to remove it because it makes your copy shorter to read. Uh, but yeah, so I just wanted to mention that. There are some objections. And here, so increase your conversion rate with just one copy paste. Uh, I think that's actually a good headline to start with uh, because it showed directly the benefits. And with just one copy paste, it's like what is going to cost you, sort of, like how easy it is to use. So it's not, you know, complex, like you have to download the package and shit like that. It's just, you do the thing and it just works. Um, so, yeah, I will. Uh, yeah, I will just pause the video again and keep going, uh, like to brainstorming a little bit. Yeah, so I'm I actually I'm just going to do the start with the, the hero. So I like to create those little tables. I'm just going to hero. Okay, I'm just going to put my headlights in there. Um, so yeah, the main goal of the headline is to make people want to read the rest. Um, increase conversion rate. So anyone who is interested in increasing conversion rate, uh, that would be relevant for them and make them want to read the rest i think so that's why i think that's a good start uh, then i want a sub headline or something and a description so in my description i want to show like show how easy it is to use Customize it actually. Customize it, and um, I think if there is like, I think this is like a major objection. Probably I'm not sure, but I, I know on my end I I hate installing um, external script for this reason because there is always this, you know, Google uh, speed test score and shit like that. So. Uh, actually, that could be a nice thing. Um, so, like, again, the best way to, like, show, not don't tell. And if I can, I don't know, find a way to show, uh, like, a Google page speed uh, insight that show that, hey, it doesn't slow down the website at all. So it just, uh, you know, confirm this claim that it does not show, slow down the website, then uh, that would be good. And it's visual because you can, you see, you don't have to like read the text. You can directly see the Google page speed. So, um, yeah, I think that's a good way to, to put it. Um, so easy to use. We can customize it. Website. Uh, So show the script size for the more technical people. You can say, oh, if this is only like, I don't know. I don't know how much the script is, but like 10 kilobytes, you know, it's something super simple. Um, so again, this is always like be precise. If you are, if I could say this is a very light script, but if I say this is a script that's only like 10 kilobytes or something, then it's more interesting. Um, so objections uh, i wanted to show th to the um, like integration sort of so stripe uh, i don't know if i can do it i never work with lemon squeeze but paddle i will have to look into that but if i can show it um 
and I need to make it very clear if it's only for Stripe or if it works with the others. So subheadline description. So again, this is not redacted. This is just brainstorming. I'm trying to come up with some ideas for the different parts. So just enter your Stripe API keys. Uh, good to go for the easy to use. Um, so fastest. conversion rate but that's a bit uh, double with this so if I use this hub sub headline I will have to change this headline um, let's see so I want to show like yeah I'm going to put the video to brainstorm a bit okay so I wrote on a bit more things uh, but let's see so Easy sales notification to increase your conversion rates. Uh, actually, I'm not a big fan of that, but it sounds better. Increase your conversions. Um, I don't know. That sounds a bit too boring. But I'm kind of running out of ideas. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use uh, Cloud because Cloud is uh, way better than uh, um, ChatGPT from my experience. Make sure to use uh, this one. And I'm just going to tell him, like, okay, um, making a landing page for an app showed. Actually, I'm going to pause while I write the prompt. Okay, so keep things pretty simple. And we are looking for volume here because most of the ID will be actually bad. Uh, but maybe one of them will be good. Uh, okay, so let's see. Uh -huh, the secret to higher conversion sales pop up. Actually, that's a really good one. Uh, boost your sales with pop up that convert. So it's not really related to the product. Uh, Sky rotary your conversion with engaging sales pop up. Uh huh, that's a pretty decent one. Uh, we cannot copy while it redacts it's a name but it's to be to customers so i think it kind of misunderstood uh what the product is but it still got some good ideas so um but yeah actually you just said okay i'm doing that i would like you know that so headline ideas and the target audience and write down x ideas uh, you don't need to make it too complex so really it's you know good on its own uh, but I like this one, so I'm just going to boost yourself with pop up that convert. Uh, yeah, this one is more, no, actually, it's more for like if I had like an actual pop up app. Uh, but this one, scary trick, your conversions with engaging sales pop up. Uh, great, to higher conversion rates. I like this one. Um, transfer landing page, pop up reflection, supercharge, sales pop up. Yeah, most of it is really bad, but pop ups. Uh, problem here is that. It put too much emphasis on the, like for SaaS success, on the keyword I used. So it's not really, uh, it's not all that relevant. So what I'm going to do, and that's one thing I hate with Cloud, you cannot edit the message, so I have to create like a new one. Uh, trying to give more context so it understand that it's not like pop-up where you know you have to sign up and stuff like that it's just like a notification uh, 
Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so let's try with that and see how it goes. Okay, so we got more ideas. So boost your conversion rate with real-time social proof. That's a pretty good one. Um, Skyward get yourself with sales pop-up. Sales notification. Actually, I'm, just, I'm not going to use unleash. Unleash is like very cliche, but uh, I think this sounds good. Boost your conversion with recent sales notification. It's like good, you know, it sounds good. Uh, what do, do we have? Uh, real time sales alert direct. So, problem with notifications uh, is that it might sound like it's paid for the owner and not visitors. So, same with alerts. So, real time sales pop up, drive results. Okay. I don't like drive results, it's a bit too generic. So, instead of that. Sales pop up will increase conversion. That's pretty good. I think I like this one. Um, let's see. Kitchen convert rate. Convert more with. Yeah, convert more with. Recent cell pop ups, something like that. Um, mm -hmm. Pilot, no code, no problem. Increase trust. Yeah, okay. I think we won't get much from it, much more from it. Uh, one other I wanted to check out on the invoice because it's basically the same target. Uh, the same kind of product just use an api key like the product is pretty similar um but yeah i think i like this it's very straight simple because yeah i mean the layout is pretty similar like i, mean, I think that's the, that's a very standard layout but it just works like just show the benefits uh i won't need this that's social proof everywhere, how it works, social proof, demo video, social proof, and pricing. That's, I mean, really, that's, you don't need more than that. Like, if the project is complex, you need to show examples and stuff, add it. But that's, a, like, good standout layout for uh, landing page design. Uh, but, yeah, I think, like, at the end, I will end up with something, like, very similar to that. Uh, I really like the Powered by Stripe. Uh, it adds, like, some social proof. So I'm going to write that down here. Uh, stripe. Um, here, I mean, the short proof. So, yeah, I think I will just um, lines. So, yeah. That's what you need to do. Basically, the headlines and subheadlines are similar. You can swap them, sort of. Uh, the headline is the subheadline is just add to add complementary information on what is not on the headline. So um, it's you know explaining what the product is a bit more in detail, etc. Uh, but I like this one. Increase your conversion with with just one copy paste, and then then I can add like something like that. Real time sales pop up that drive results, or, or it's like I don't like drive results, but it's short, so it's kind of implied because there is increase your conversion rate. So I don't need to re to tell conversion rate again, I don't need to repeat it. Uh, so in this case, if I as it as a sub headline, I think that would be fine. Like those two ones, increase the conversion rate with just the one copy paste. So the audience is like directly, okay, this is like, I'm interested in that. And then you have real time, real time sales pop up that drive results. Then it's like, what is a product? 
and then you get the description. So uh, let's try to write a, a mockup. So um, just connect swipe customize. Uh, I don't like theme, like customize your. So what I do when I'm not sure of a word or something, I just write it in brackets so I know to come back to it later. I get the overall IDs, but yeah. Uh, customize it maybe. Um, <clears throat> But it is not clear because I don't have anything like customize it. What is it? So I need to mention sales probably for that. Um, but yeah, customize it. And yeah, now I'm going to pause for a second to think. All right, so I think we got a good starting point here. So increase conversion rate with just one copy paste. So I'm just going to highlight that so everybody this is the one I want to use. Real time time sales pop up that drive results, and this description. So add beautiful sales pop up that will increase your conversion rate twenty percent. Um, that's a bit too long actually. That increase conversion rate uh, conversions conversion rates yeah. but yeah you want things to be as short and readable as possible without compromising on the informations um, so maybe oh maybe the easiest way Yeah, so just going to write a new variation. So, because I already mentioned sales pop up a lot. So, I like this one. The easiest way to increase the conversion rate up to 20%. But then people might think, oh, I will have 20% conversion rate. No, it's it increases the conversion rate. So, if you have like 100% conversion rate, it will be 120%. But I think people are not that dumb, I guess, I hope. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, I like this one. It's just way to increase your conversion rate. So I think we got the, the hero. Um, I don't think... So normally I like to use the layouts with, uh, you know, uh, here we have the text and here's some like visual way of representing it. Uh, even for uh, talk notes, I have the text and then I have like a live table on the landing page. So I don't think here it's really necessary. So I can put like a just basic design, like a single column hero. I think that should be enough. Um, Because uh, yeah, re like the, really the only way to to show this product is just to have myself the notification. So yeah, uh, that will be a single colon layout this time. I think that's the first time I <laughs> I actually uh, use this layout. So we'll have to uh, create it from scratch. I cannot read the code, but it's fine. Uh, but yeah, so we have the hero. So I'm going to just put that aside and. Should look something like that. Oh, I'm going to remove the formatting. So, no one. Just one copy paste. Yeah, that would basically look something like that. Uh, 
whatever. Um, yeah, so this would be something like that. Mm, actually, it's more script. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that for now. Uh, okay, so we've got the hero section. And I think, so for the rest of the layouts, uh, I mean, example, I have, uh, I have that. So I just need like a how it works. So I think I will just reuse the standard thing I have, you know, something like that. Uh, I made a new version. Uh, yeah so I have like a layout like that where you just click I mean that's a standard one that's from <laughs> Tailwind UE so everyone uses the same but it just works um, so I think I'm just going to use that the exact same thing and I will just uh, put some either videos or images here. So let's do that, how it works. So my little table here. Okay, so. <clears throat> so how it works. So the goal of the how it works is just to like sharpen the idea of the product in the mind of the customer. Oh. Let those understand exactly like okay this is this is exactly how it's how it's work so they can sort of like project themselves and think okay that's how I am going to use it you know so uh yeah how it works step one uh, customize your both up. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to pause that because it's not really interesting. It's just how the product works, so it's not really related to copy, but I will just uh, give a break then after. Okay, so I started writing that, but I I think I can think of one objection is that why, like why why would it work? You know, people will be like, okay, that's nice, but why would it work? Um, so I'm just going to add it here, and you know, sometimes you will get ideas while you write. So why would it work? Uh, and then I think that's where I will have to do like a bit of research, get the exact number. Uh, because I know some uh, competitors put some numbers on the learning page, but I, I don't want to just, you know, copy what they did. Uh, like I get some inspirations, and I know they wrote something about that. But uh, like in my case, I thought of this objection: why would it work? And I need to justify it. So I'm going to make my own research to think like, okay, uh, social proof, you know, stuff like that, plus my own results. Uh, because for me, like I run a test. And it increased the conversion rate of like it when I remove the pop up, the conversion rate dropped by 50%. But uh, every A B testing is not like it's not um, too limited to get a real view. So I think if I just take the before and after, oh, actually, that's oh, I found my uh, <laughs> my second part. Uh, and for the picture, I can just show the graphic of my conversion rate increasing. So, uh, so so yeah, I mean, um, because yeah, again, like it shows the product, but people want the end result. So if you can show a way to represent the end result, it's even better. So I think I will just. Uh, like what I did on Maker Ads Guide. So this is like real results. And I think I will just do something like that. Uh, having like um, like 250 invested and 10,000 of sales. So I will just show the graphic with a red arrow. So like saying like um, added sales pop-up and then show the post. 
so I need to see if I can find that. I don't remember the exact date I added it, but it should be like early, um, I think October or something. And there is like an actual uh, boost of conversion rate. Um, great. So we've got some good ideas here. Show before after conversion rate screenshot. Um, and yeah, why would it work? So uh, social proof uh, study data. So I need to find a study because the like social proof has been proven to increase conversion rate. I just need to find like a number uh, and sales pop up. pop-ups so I think I will add like why does it work so well and actually that will be a whole section so uh, I might add it before or after that but why does it work so well and I'm just going to put that here Okay, so see, that's why you cannot just like if I just if I was just lazy and went on my old website, just copy the layout, then I would never have thought about all that. So always, always, always use Google Docs because that's where you can be creative. And that's what landing pages are about is your creativity is how you can be creative to present your product in the best way possible. Um okay so i'm just going to finish this section and then i'm going to start this one okay so i finished this section i rename it get more sales and just some like basic text because we will have more um info here and i think i will just put it here instead and now i need to find some statistics about social proof so let's do some research and let's see so let's see uh, Proof. I want this number. Where did I get this from? Study by HubSpot. So, so those two numbers, online reviews. So it's not really reviews. Uh, testimonials. I mean, online reviews. online coaching services so it's not really that but social proof and the learning page increase conversion rate so uh, let's read that study uh, let's what we get the numbers from so that's funny because they the 30 uh, 35 is not even by hubspot it's by them uh so again i just want this in one study there it's actually not even <laughs> it's funny everyone is quoting each other um so this is the original source okay Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is not some random bullshit, so I can use that. Um, I mean, yeah, that's actually true. Yeah, so all right, so let's see. I'm going to redact that a bit. So, actually, I'm going to do a bit more research. FOMO. So, because fear of missing out. So, it's the product is not really about that, but if there is, like, uh, for example, for um, Makers Ads Guide, so I haven't added the pop up yet, but every like 100 or so orders, I increase the price. So, if people see that there are lots of purchases, they will be like, oh wow, I actually, you know, I might miss out the discount. So, both can work really well together. Uh, so I'm just going to check quickly if, if we can find something on a uh, fear of missing out and conversion rate. Uh, which is due to FOMO. Uh, 
recent study. Man, they don't quote the sources. Uh, but I mean, that's a well-known fact, so I'm just going to... Uh, yeah, okay, let me read, I think, a bit. Okay, so I wrote some notes. And I want to use like a real life example. So for, you know, fear of missing out and like the mix of that. So um, basically sales pop up like that is the equivalent of like, you know, when you see like everyone waiting in line for to buy a product or something, you're like, oh, wow, this is got to be good. Like if there are so many people purchasing it. So uh, I don't like this, but like I'm just going to write in brackets. Restaurants. Um, yeah, um, I don't, like this is not the best example because here it's like waiting, so the relevance is a bit less, but still really good. Uh, so this is equivalent of seeing many people in line in front of a restaurant. You know, it has to be good if so many people are waiting in line, right? I think this one is really good because it illustrates a concept with a real life example that anyone can relate to. Like if you if you're working in a city and you see lots of people, um, you see lots of people. Uh, like waiting then you will like oh wow i need to go back there at some point like i need to try that you know uh so i want to mention for more little bit like a uh, couple with a limited time discount to this always here Okay, this is like a really shit sentence, but again, at this point, I'm not trying to redact. Like, you just want to write, dump your ideas, you know, and then you redact it into better sentences. But yeah, so why does it work? Okay, so. Um, Five percent, I think thirty-six. But let's round up, round down, um, increase. <clears throat> and so yeah, here I can say something about like because you need testimonials and stuff like that. So uh, before we forget, actually, so. Great testimonial can increase the page once you're about 35%. Uh, no, because it's not just one, but uh, but hard to get. So it's like a bit of a pain point. I think everyone who has an app know that, like the customer love it, but they just, oh yeah, like they don't want to spend five minutes to leave a good testimonial. Um, Actually, that could be that could be a section inside, but let's write it here for now. Uh, up to thirty-five percent. Good testimonials are hard to get. Ignore it. Um, I don't know what it is, but ignore it. like the product so yeah um, this is more of a problem agitate solution at the end but that's still this is still good uh, yeah like problem like I showed the problem you need testimonials you need social proof but it's hard to get and I think everyone can relate to that like 99 people of you that will just ignore it 
but then it's not really why does it work so well anymore but okay let's just keep writing so okay uh, in purchase come Uh, let's preview. <clears throat> um, so I need to add something like like why use this if I can code my own you know so that's actually a good a valid objection so why use this because I will have like a verify page so uh, not trust Actually, there is a good example of that. Let me find it. Yeah, so uh, because someone posted this, and actually that's what gave me FOMO because I didn't plan to launch that as an app before a while, but then I see everyone is seeing it and lots of people bookmarked it. So, uh, and lots of people say like, oh, it's fake, fake, you know, fake data, blah, blah. So yeah. Uh, the main selling point I think is just it's proven like you cannot fake it because there is no way to change the transactions so yeah uh, from random if I actually I can add a screenshot like I'm just going to link this to it if I can uh, <clears throat> So yeah, because when you click on the, I don't have it here because it's a custom made app, but if you click on like verified, uh, it will send on like a page like, oh, this is uh, verified transactions, blah, blah, you cannot fake it. So uh, I think this is the main thing. Um, so yeah, this is just like a small thing. So a new objection, you know, you, you will get ideas while you write, like just writing is really good for that. Uh, but yeah, let's keep writing this um, section. Okay, so we got like a nice text here. Uh, I simplified actually, I just, but we'll just ignore it and never leave. So I am just made some like minor tweaks uh, just to shorten things a little bit. Social proof is the number one easiest way to increase your conversion rate. Social proof alone can increase the landing page. So uh, I can replace it by it. studies uh, I'm not I, I don't want to add links to external sources on the learning page so I'm not going to add the link to the study uh, but if it's if you're writing like a blog post and stuff like that you should but on a learning page uh, just avoid as much as possible external links uh, actually I'm just going to study show that it can increase current up to 35 percent it's easier to read like that uh but we it's hard to get you like the project okay i've collected and trying to be beautiful order for all visitors to see uh, by up to 20 percent uh okay so i want to add that but i do not know where to put it uh, yeah I 
I guess I can use, I can put those, uh, like, I like having some, you know, you get like those titles and then you get small headlines, stuff like that. So I guess I can, uh, yeah, I can probably do something like that. But yeah, I, I need to find a way to put that because I really like the, the metaphor. It's like people directly understand. Uh, yeah, let me pause for a second. Okay, so I ended up adding it here and tweaking the text a little bit to make it easy to read. Uh, I will add that probably in the FAQ or something like, does it work? Discount. This is a shit question. No one, no one asks themselves that. But if the question is here, some people will read. I, I will probably change the wording, but it's just a pretext to, to put that here. Uh, okay, great. So I have my section that will do for now. So why does it work so well? Uh, this is a huge chunk of text, so I will try to make it a bit more visual. I guess. I don't know. I need to find a way to make it uh, nicer. Um, integrations, so one click integration, yeah. So, why does it work so well? It's good, I have it. I can put something like green, will slow down my website. Uh, yeah. So I need to answer that. Um, load faster than something fast. Okay. So loads faster than uh, something fast. Uh, I like to use this because it directly compares. So if I can find like a reference and something that loads pretty fast, I don't know, um, then it will be good. Uh, it will be good because if I say it will not slow down your website, people will think, oh, wait, can you slow down my website? Like, why would they say that, you know? So uh, if I, instead I use a positive term, load faster than whatever, then it's better. Uh, so I'm just going to put that here. And I guess, <clears throat> but I heard, yeah. So I can either use that or make an objection section. I uh, actually never done that. Like I did that for makers that's guide, but it's just three like text like that. Um, I guess I can just put it in the FAQ. Yeah, I think I will just use the FAQ for that. So. FAQ. Slow down the website. Does it work well? Yeah. I'll just put that here. Because uh, I don't want to add too much text. This is a simple product. So the copy, I'll need to kind of show that. It's like, oh, yeah, you just install the script and you're good to go. And I think I think lots of people, you know, don't really care about the sort of objection and stuff like that. They so will just, oh, yeah, I, I want that. Um. So why does it work so well? Why? Yeah, so I can remove the, all that. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to put that here. But this one, I might do like a section just for this one, but not for the other one. I don't know. I will see. Actually, yeah, you know what? Never mind. 
because I think if I use FAQ, then I need to code something entirely different to add pictures. So I will just, yeah, I will just keep that for the FAQ and use that as a small section. It doesn't have to be lots of text. It's just, it's a picture, so it's pretty visual. It can be seen really fast, so it's not a, a big deal. Uh, load fast is okay. Then we have the pricing. Uh, so pricing, I'm just not going to reinvent the wheel. I'm going to copy the same price box I have. Uh, where is it? Here. Yeah, so just basically bullet points and stuff like that. Uh, what is today? Pricing, okay. Uh, let's see, can we add something else? Uh, I don't need that. Then FAQ. Uh, all right, let's see. I'm just going to check Q Learning Page Fun Inspiration. Mm -hmm, I have everything. social proof obviously but yeah I mean I think that's uh, it's pretty much it like yeah I want to show like I have the powered by stripe so I think I won't need the integration section uh, okay I think if I can get both because if I only have Lemon Squeezy and Stripe, it doesn't need like a whole section for that. But if I have Lemon Squeezy, Stripe, Paddle and some shit, then I can I can easily show like, okay, this is, we integrate with that. So this will provide you with something like that. But I'm not sure how many people use Paddle and Lemon Squeeze over Stripe, but let's see. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, yeah. <laughs> I think that I think we're pretty much done for the for the main thing. So yeah. Uh, all right. So we've got our main thing. Uh, I just need to add the FAQ, you know, add the all play like placeholder question, like if there, blah blah blah, uh, and then add the like a uh, final call to action. So banner, uh, and I'm just going to probably use the same thing. It's the easiest way to increase your commission rate up to twenty percent. Insert table. Okay. Okay, I think that will do for now. Um, so we have to change that, but yeah, yeah, we we've got our our design basically. So what I'm going to do now, um, I so I don't have some of the component for, like I have. I have the hero section for this one. So hero section is good. I can just copy pass. How it works, same. Why does it work so well? I need to find a way to make it look nice. But I think, yeah, I don't know. No, I think it will be fine because it's, there is some v pictures here and there are some pictures here. So it will be just like a small chunk of text. And I think lots of people will skip it anyway. So I think it should be fine as it is. So, okay, this is just a picture with some text and FAQ. So, technically, I already know how it's going to look like uh, because I have the component and I'm just going to reuse what I made on my previous landing pages. So, I'm not going to use Figma. I'm not going to use Figma. Instead, I'm just going to jump straight into code and make the actual landing page. So I'm not going to record myself making the code and stuff like that. 
uh, because it's boring as fuck and I think the, va the main value is here is how to write the copy uh, because it's not like I'm making design from scratch I'm just going to copy what is already here but uh, what I would recommend is um, you go on if you don't have like if you have your copy and you don't know how to illustrate that into a proper landing page uh, you go to like landing folio and you spend like I don't know a couple of hours or whatever just uh, oh nice <laughs> told not uh, but you spend some time basically broadening and find some inspiration uh, never ever copy people like if you see something that looks amazing do not like just straight copy them okay you can take inspiration and like as you can see I went on some competitors landing page I took some inspiration but at I never copied any of their text, never any of the design and stuff like that. So this is important. You can get a feel of what's going to be, uh, you know, good for you, but never uh, copy what other people do. Um, but yeah, you could see, okay, uh, I have like a hero section. So copy UI, design made easy. Mm. And yeah, you could get some inspiration from that. Uh, so I think you can find by category. So landing page and maybe you can find her by SAS. And yeah, you, you, you can get like really like a shitload of ideas like that. that uh, that's pretty much how I do. I uh, do that and I use uh, like UI components. So I have Tailwind UI. So if you go in components, I think you can go in your yeah, page section. So I basically use, I don't reinvent the wheel. You know, I just use <laughs> I just use the stuff uh, when it makes sense. I tweak them a little bit to adapt to my copy, but that, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, if you suck at design, just try to get inspiration from other stuff or use UI library. I know there is uh, Daisy UI. Um, I don't know how accordion. Yeah, they have some stuff, uh, but I know. Otherwise, you can just like you can use a boilerplate. Like this is what it's made for. So you can use Shipfast, and uh, yeah, you can just have like pre-made landing page components, and you can just uh, take what you need. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, I wanted to add like a little demo video to see how easy it is. Um, password manager. I guess I could add that. Like, I don't know. I want to add a demo video at some point, but which is actually not that necessary because of how it works. I don't know, but I will just write it down here. Demo video. Yeah. Uh, all right. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So again, never copy other people. Uh, never start with the design and put your copy inside. Uh, use Google Docs, take some time. So it took me one hour to make this copy. Uh, obviously, I have seven years of experience behind me so it will probably take you longer but i hope this will already help you make a uh, better copy so yes yeah, see you all right so i ended up making a second part of the video because i wanted to show like how to go like you have your design but you need to make a few tweaks so as you can see here we have increased your conversion rate with just one script and it doesn't look that good it's too long i feel and on mobile it looks fine you know it's like on tablet it's fine so actually the um, one uh one colon layout looks fine so i might just go with it uh this is a mobile version that i mean that that looks really decent honestly so yeah, I might just go with uh, with this layout uh, one thing because as I mentioned we like there is a clear way to show what the product is because we will have the pop-up notifications here so no matter what people will be able to see what the product looks like you know what the main benefit um, I don't know where to put that because then uh you know it's it's still a really good thing to have but i i really don't know where i can uh, add it i feel it takes too much space here so i don't know i need to 
put that a little bit because I think I will just go with uh, this design at the end. Uh, increase your conversion rate with just one trip, or maybe what I could try is to remove a few non-essential words. So if I remove increase conversion weight with just a script, maybe. Yeah, that already looks better. So I could also go with that. I'm not 100% sure yet, but for now that will do it. Uh, drive the results. So actually that looks decent. I think that looks decent enough to use it. I still feel this looks better though. So yeah, I think, yeah, I think, so it's really important because you, you, to also realize that lots of people, you know, will check on mobile and stuff. So make sure that it looks as good on mobile. And in some cases it might be worth to, for example, here, I have my, you know, step-by-step -step, uh, component and I just, so on laptop, you see, you, I have this preview video of the step uh but on mobile it's hidden so don't hesitate to have specific components for mobile and for uh, desktop that way you are sure to maximize your chance of um, increasing conversion um so yeah i will uh, make a few tweaks and I, I won't do everything live because it's like code and stuff so it's boring but i will just cut the video and probably add it to the end of the next the previous one but yeah this is just to show like how to make adjustments so whenever i'm tweak some things or I realize the copy looks ugly i will make the changes all right so i ended up making a new image for that and i think this looks much better uh it's still not perfect i feel there is lots of blank i don't know i feel like something is missing but it's already way more readable and we have more space for the headline. So that's a good start. Um, now I need to, I don't know, like this is lots of blank space like that. So I want to add a little something that pops out. Um, but yeah, that's a good start. Image is a bit boring. It's like very flat. So I might put that in diagonal a little bit, but uh, we are on the right path and too much space here. So yeah, let's, uh, keep going all right so i had some uh, lunch now back to it um yeah so i added the pop-up from one of my main apps so i can get a preview and i guess with the pop-up plus some backgrounds like that it's like i don't know it's not amazing but it's not bad either so I think I will just, uh, yeah, I will just go with that for now. I will see if I change that, but for now that will do it. Um, so yeah, and then the rest is just taking mo like uh, screenshots of the app, uh, like a video capture or something and add them here and basically turn uh, the whole copy into a proper thing. Uh, so I'm going to finish adding all the components and then I'm going to tweak, maybe I will change the colors because it, I don't know, I'm really not a big fan of this green. So I think I will change the whole branding to go back to um, Indigo or something. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. And it's not something really interesting. It's mainly coding, so I'm going to pause. All right, so I took uh, some time to add components to my uh, component list. And that's why uh, I think it's been two or three hours since I put the video, uh, but yeah, I, um, I ended up, uh, making some tweaks and I think I'm pretty happy with how it looks like now. Uh, I just need to make some tweaks to the pop-up because sometimes it just looks like it's on two line and it looks ugly as fuck, but yeah, so powered by Stripe, increase your conversion rate. So I ended up removing the picture here and adding a gradient to add a little bit of, uh, fun sort of oh wait i think the camera is not here yes um yeah so it's it looks way cleaner in my opinion it works well on both mobile and phone 
So we have the step by step. We have the little chunk of text and I ended up putting the picture here and actually I think I might put it in in the text here. Uh, we have what I was mentioning, so top performance only two kilobytes. The pricing box, which uh, this is what took me time to, I had to create one from scratch because the one I used, the component uh, was made for only one pricing, but I'm basically using a dummy pricing here. So this price, I mean, that's a shit deal. Like for $10 less per year, you get only one website, but it's here to aim troll. So this one looks like it's like great deal. Actually, I was going to go for $29 per year, but since I use the dummy price, this one looks good. And I think I can probably increase that to 39 or something. But yeah, I will, um, I will see later for the exact price. Uh, there is no call to action yet. Oh, never mind. There is call to action yet. Oh yeah, just not working. Uh, we have the frequently asked question, but I think, so can't I just code my own? Since this is what I was mentioning. If when people will click there, they will end up on a page that showed um, verification and stuff. But I think there is not enough emphasis on that. So I think I want to add it here or add a section about trust to show like, hey, this is not just a pop-up, this is trust because again, like when users uh, saw that on, on Twitter, they were like, oh, this is fake, this is fake. And I think with that that thing, uh, people realize, oh, okay, this is not fake, like this is some real thing. So anyone who has this, like even if they don't know the brand, because obviously the brand awareness is zero when you start, but uh, they will be able to click the verified button and they will be able to uh, you know, see the page like, oh yeah, this certify that this website use real payment, etc., etc. Uh, so I think this is the main selling point because lots of people are technical; they can do it on their own. But if they use their own, you know, <laughs> like if it, if they use their own website, they can easily fake the notifications. Um, so I need to add this section. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how it is. So it looks good on mobile. It looks good on. Uh, Oh yeah, never mind. I need to tweak that. But other than that, I think it's pretty solid, and I just need to add the picture here. So yeah, I'm going to pause again. I uh, like try to think about how I could add that without because I don't want like a massive wall of text. It looks ugly as fuck. So yeah, I will. Uh, I will have to see. But for now, I'm going to pause. All right. So I uh, found the. Twitter post I was referring to where people were saying, oh, this is fake, etc. And I took a screenshot, put them here. And yeah, I basically just added a, se a te text section. It's all about trust to remove this objection. And yeah, I need to, I guess it doesn't hurt to have it twice. Um, but yeah, so I'm not a big fan. Like it's still a huge chunk of text. So I don't know, I want to find some kind of better design, but that will do for now. I... Yeah, I don't... So I haven't made the um, trust page yet, so I cannot put a screenshot, but I think I will try to add a screenshot here. Uh, maybe having something like... Oh, wait, so actually... Because now, because uh, I was assuming that, like I was thinking without this objection, can I code my code my own? Uh, but if I start using the principle that okay, people can code it if they want to, but then I can make, you know, uh, sales pop up without sales pop up whatever, like a with without. So I guess, yeah, I guess I could turn this section into two columns to show like, hey, look, with the pop-up, you like without that, you get people saying, oh, this is fake data and stuff like that. But with it, you get like a nice trust page that tell you like, oh, uh, this is verified and shit. Uh, so I'm going to keep that for later. 
I think for now, uh, like, yeah, this is just this section, but overall, I think I'm pretty much done with the landing page. Uh, everything is ready. I have the, the FAQ, etc. So there is a, just that. I will probably uh, change that in the final design, but yeah. Uh, but the whole point is I want to show how to, you know, uh, make the landing page from scratch and we have a good result. I actually hate this headline, so <laughs> I think it sucks now. Uh, so I'm going to change it, but uh, yeah, uh, I, I will definitely change that. I, I the other thing, copy, uh, you, you might think something is cool and then it sucks, so it's good to take some time, but overall, I think the copy is pretty solid. I just need to update a few things. Uh, maybe try to see if I can make that more easy, like easier to read or something. But we have something fairly decent. Uh, just uh, so I made some tweaks and I changed the headline, like really minor things. Uh, but I just wanted to to show it. Uh, so we have a new headline because um, the previous one was like increase your conversion weight with just a script, but uh it actually it sucks and uh, it's like it doesn't really show the value proposition like a script i think like i feel like lo lots of non-tech people might use that and this, this, the word script might scare them and it's not very clear but here we immediately sales pop-ups that increase your conversion rate we see it directly um then the fastest way to boost your sales so again I feel to increase trust and boost your sales that could be improved, but for now that will do. Um, increase your sales easily by showing recent transaction in a pop-up user will trust. Removing that, but uh, yeah. So actually I put more emphasis on the trust thing because I talked with a few people and they were like, oh yeah, but I, I can code my own. So this is the objection I thought was going to be big and so i put more emphasis into trust and i think uh i'm not sure if i uh changed that last time or not but i improved the design here to make it more obvious you know you don't get a pop-up you get like a trust page and stuff like that um and now when you like the pop-ups actually have like a stripe icon that can be toggled on and off uh, but yeah, like if, if you go there, then you will see the page, you know, this website is verified, blah, blah, blah. So I will use uh, talknotes.io. I will, uh, just add like a little arrow saying, Hey, this is from talknotes.io, obviously, because, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to pretend this is from this app. Um, I managed to add the lemon squeeze integration. So I mentioned it here and in the FAQ, does it work with lemon squeezy? And yeah, so this is like minor changes, but I think I'm pretty happy with how it looks like now. Uh, I just want to, so I don't really have social proof yet other than like mine. So I think I will add a testimonial with me just saying like, oh yeah, I improved my conversion rate because for me it almost improved by 50%. I think it's really luck. I don't think this is actually only due to this. So let's be safe and say, that's why I, I say like 15% something, but I don't want to promise like yeah I, I try to keep it here but for me it directly had a big impact like I can see here so um so yeah I mean that's uh pretty much it I, I th I'm pretty happy with how it looks like and one thing to remember is that it's an iterative process you know we started with something really simple uh if you remember I wasn't happy like there was a hero that looks too simple but now we have this little thing we have the preview of the pop-up directly you know we have this little picture with the logos so I think this looks way better a little gradient in the background uh so you don't need to have like all fancy stuff I think it's pretty simple but it works and it looks good on mobile so yeah maybe just tweak that thing a little bit to make it more visible uh but yeah i mean that's a pretty solid landing page i would say uh, i still want to improve that make it maybe more visual but for now that will do it and yeah so i think that will be the last video hopefully <laughs>